Good morning, everybody. It's me, and I'm starting up a commentary channel for the hell of it. Today, I would like to dive into Corpse, aka Choke me like you hate me, but you love me. Guy, or I'm feeling an imposter on. Guy, with the deep, smooth, buttery voice of your wet dreams that makes the lesbians question their sexuality. Book course. Very nice guy. I'm, uh, I'm gay, I just wanted to remind myself. And the married men swoon. Thank you. Very true. It's Whoa! Awesome. Whose voice was that? <laughs> that was sexy. I wanted to bring up something that deeply troubles me, and that is the concept of the corpse husband face reveal and how it's been inflated by fans and content creators alike. Many fans are probably excited about it, even desperate, and in so many comments, people ask to see his face and want that face reveal to happen as soon as possible. The fact of the matter is, I feel bad for Corpse because of the massive hype around him. Hell, some fans got a whole ass tattoo of the sound bite of him taking a fucking breath, or even the one strand of his hair that he posted. Maybe I'm just not with the times, and I think if you want a tattoo involving the guy, there's so many sick graphics to choose from, but you chose a hair. But, uh, tea each their own, I guess. I ain't one to judge people too harshly, and by no means do people deserve to be bullied in their Twitter replies and told they're cringe or have no friends, because if you say that, you gotta get a life. But even just looking at his Twitter replies, you find so many thirsty things and rabid fans. Hell, even famous content creators do that shit, and it actually irritates me. Take a quick look at this tweet from Carl Jacobs. It says, God, I can picture how handsome. I'm sure that the guy didn't have any bad intent by this. Many people don't who visualize him as this stunning human being, like a god in human flesh, like, like the guy who plays Thor or Zayn Malik or something, but it's actually harmful in my eyes. And this isn't even anything new. These content creators have been making these types of tweets, like as long as they've known Corpse, either thirsting or implying he's hot, even if it's just a joke. The fans and even these content creators are all bolstering this vision of him that he's sexy, he's handsome, he'll be so beautiful when he decides to show his face to the world. Ever since the start of his blow up, people have been enforcing this, matching a gorgeous face to his incredible voice. And in my head, that's really not fair. As somebody with anxiety, I can safely say that if I was in his position, I would probably lose my mind. I know I can't speak for him, but I can easily imagine the pressure he's under, and I don't blame him at all for not wanting to reveal his face. The fact is, no matter how good looking he might be, I don't think he'll ever be as good looking as people have hyped him up to be. And I think it's wrong how so many people have fixated on his appearance, foaming at the mouth at every speck of evidence proving he's a real person, like a hand or a piece of hair. I don't think anyone can fairly argue with me that he wouldn't feel like he's bound to let everyone down with how many people glorify him and low-key sexualize him. Sadly, people always do that to content creators. They put them up on a pedestal and if you cannot meet their expectations, you disappoint eh, at least a decent chunk of them. I feel extremely bad for Corpse because maybe if he had revealed his face before he went completely viral, people would have more of an even perspective of him. Instead of jumping through all these imaginative hoops, indulging in the mystery of it all, oh, what could he look like, oh, what could match that beautiful voice, I'm sure his friends would still build him up, his fans would still adore him. But countless people are stuck on this mental image of him, and they're building this narrative that he's hot, and he has to be hot. It kind of reminds me of when they made Twilight into a movie, and I, for one, was so disappointed that Edward wasn't nearly as hot as I imagined him in the book. Don't you fucking judge me. I like the books, damn it. Everyone had that face, I think. Even his introduction into those bigger streams and communities have been met with awe and shock due to his voice. Most people have flipped out and complimented him about it, even those way more famous than himself. 
the expectation is there and he's shown that he feels that pressure and how he thinks that he'll disappoint everyone. I hate how he's terrified now of people in his real life recognizing him and I don't know how much longer he'll be able to tread that fine line of just like staying inside and always being afraid of going. He's expressed that he's been recognized by his voice in the drive through A goddamn drive through Imagine if he pulled up and then somebody took a picture of him and posted it everywhere. He wouldn't even have control over that and it's easy for people to recognize him if he talks because his voice is so distinct. If he goes anywhere, he's probably afraid to talk to people anywhere in public. He can't respond to people if he gets groceries. He probably can't even go to restaurants and order because maybe someone will figure out who he is if they keep up with any sort of internet gaming. It feels kind of like the opposite of the Tony Hawk effect. I, know, I looked that up because some of Tony Hawk's Twitter things about him being recognized but not being recognized is hilarious. But anyways, even in the Anthony Padilla video, we see how his anxiety was already bad even before he blew up and millions of new people learned about his channel. Even at his smaller level of fame, which was still, you know, pretty good because he had, I forgot how many million subscribers, at least it was one million, he still kept his occupation from everyone in his life, living kind of like Hannah Montana. What I think is crossing the line now is that recently he's even said that he's afraid that one of his doctors will recognize him. His doctors. He has a lot of health problems and if he already struggles with too much anxiety of being found up in public just doing everyday things, with something as necessary as seeing his doctor now being a source of anxiety for him, in my head is a recipe for disaster. And it's all these people's expectations that have built him up to be so nervous and afraid of being recognized. My point is that I think all of this, these tweets like, you're handsome, oh, I'm visualizing you right now, oh, sexy, and stuff like that, even if you're not directing it at his looks, it's probably going to be interpreted that way. And both him and other people are going to internalize this as something that <laughs> will have to come out whenever he does do a face reveal. I just wish that when you posted compliments, either normal people or content creators, you talk about something else besides all these, you know, sexy, beautiful, uh, you know, stuff like that. You could say lots of other things. There's a plenty to like about him, but all this sexualizing and idolizing, even from his fellow internet friends, I think that's harmful. And while it might be flattering in the moment, it causes a lot of pressure long term. I personally think stands are gonna stand anyway, and so there's no use reaching out to them like, ah, oh, this could be harmful to them because it's, you know, their stands. It's whatever, but I'm mostly just directing this at the content creators who are help perpetuating this narrative. But you are also not helping out if you are one of those people that are harassing the stands, making replies to his tweets, okay? Like, are, if you're one of those trash bags posting, I hate this site and oh my god, why are people so obsessed or... Oh, if he didn't have that voice, none of you guys would even like him. Just mind your own damn business. You're a toxic human who needs something better to do. Corpse is just a person. Just a regular person. We gotta stop putting all this pressure on him, like if the face reveal ever happens or is leaked. Because the community all around him, people will probably take it terribly and be awful to him, both stands and haters alike if he doesn't match their vision. I'm not trying to be... Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, I live like right next to the road. But anyways, I know at the end of the day that his real friends and fans will stick around, but I just think it just needs to be toned down a little bit because it's putting a lot of pressure on him. All these expectations, we need to stop he already has anxiety and all of those medical problems that probably get worse with all this stress. Because of this mess, he's afraid to go outside and that's so unfortunate and constricting for his life. I think that the best thing that anyone can do for him as a whole, if we could just all tone it down, just 
Just slow down on the comments like beautiful, handsome, sexy, all of that because it has an automatic connotation with how he looks. Just treat him like a cool guy who plays video games or reads out scary stuff with a pretty neat voice and a fun personality. I'm especially talking to people like Carl, Jack, Ray, all those other people, whoever's out there with a shared audience and a voice in the community. People are watching you. People are following your example. So don't add those, oh my gosh, uh, he's so drop dead gorgeous comments because you're just encouraging the hype. You're feeding that expectation. You're putting pressure on him. So just don't bring up his looks at all. You're hurting him by fixating on his potential attractiveness. So just take in the other parts of who he is. There are many amazing things about him, like his music, his maniacal energy, the kind way he treats his friends, his interests, you get the picture. And I'll cut it off right there, but if you liked this rant, subscribe to this mediocre commentary channel. Thank you very much for indulging me in my rant today, and uh, if you want more of my, uh, my sensitive but bitchy energy, uh, stick around.